Hey folks, just a little studio channel update. It's Kevin again, uh, coming here from my own home studio in my basement. Um, I wanted to uh, answer a lot of the messages that have come into the, the inbox uh, over the last, oh, three or four weeks. Everyone got quite excited um, when they noticed that um, Neil Peart had posted in his blog that he had returned to La Studio for a, uh, a video shoot that uh, he was participating in. And I just wanted to let you know, I, I was aware of that actually well in advance of him even writing his blog. I was actually surprised, stunned actually, to see the blog in the end because um, there was some things going on behind the scenes that are unique to actually this channel, which I want to let you in on now. I think you'll find this quite interesting. Um, this channel actually did some good in a way and contributed to this event happening um, because of the fact that this channel, the La Studio channel itself, and the first episode of the documentary got noticed, and it got noticed by Banger Films. Uh, Banger Films uh, reached out to me, uh, Rachel was her name, um, she sent a private message on YouTube to me, which I found, and uh, she was basically reaching out to find out how does she f get access to the building? How can Banger Films uh, go inside the building? Who do you talk to? How did we do it? Um, and she basically wanted me to, uh, to assist and, and see if we could get, uh, get Neil there. Um, she was you know, right up front about the purposes of, of what they were trying to accomplish. And, um, you know, uh, I was quite happy to oblige and, um, and give her whatever information I could. I had to dig back through my old notes from a couple years ago and get out uh, old phone numbers and so on. I gave her everything I could. We went back and forth. We talked on the phone for quite a bit. Um, and there was some pitfalls and some dead ends. Uh, a lot of the numbers had uh, gone dead or went to other people that had nothing to do with the original people I spoke to two, three years ago. Um, but we did have a successful hit and long story short, uh, Rachel was able to get in contact with uh, someone who could let her into the building with keys and, um, and bring a film crew and so on to the property and actually uh, do it fully sanctioned by the, the owners of the property. So that was all great. and. Um, you know, the last I heard from Rachel was that she was successful, and, and that was uh, wonderful news. And in my head, I was thinking, okay, Neil's going to the studio, and Banger Films is going to take him there uh, for whatever they're doing. I didn't, I didn't get that part. That part was um, basically pretty generalized. Uh, you know, I was basically told it was something to do with a Banger Films project that they were doing for VH1 television, and it had to do with like a, a series uh, that they were producing. Um, I think the tentative name was Rush, no, sorry, Rock Icons, not Rush Icons, Rock Icons. And um, that was all I knew at that time. So um, Neil's blog popped up and everyone sort of, uh, who, those who actually you know follow uh, Neil's blog or, or see that his links come up either in their Facebook or in social media if you're, if you're uh, if you have those pages liked or favorited or whatnot, um, I think almost every Rush fan in the world ended up discovering uh, Neil's blog entry for that trip to Morin Heights, Quebec, um, and all of his writing surrounding the, the back history and his feelings of it and all that sort of thing, which was awesome to see. Just seeing the picture of him outside um, the, the building with his two-seater coupe um, <laughs> was an amazing picture and I'm assuming someone uh, at Banger took that photo for him. Uh, there's other photos of, of course put in with the writing um, showing him being interviewed and um, on camera both outside and inside the building. But I just wanted to let everyone know that uh, we accomplished something here at the La Studio channel. <laughs> and actually helped bring that to to uh, fruition for Banger Films in just that tiny little way. And I'm, I'm you know, I'm pleased that um, that something could come of this and, and you know, we did attract some attention. Um, so, yeah, just letting you have this update to let you know I was well aware of it before it happened and I was a small seed in the inception of getting Neil uh, to the La Studio um, as it stands today. So that was that was a great little thing to see happen. And I was excited to see all the pictures and see it come. Now I just want to wait and see what they did with that footage and where they're where they're going to go with it. So we'll all have to wait and see. 
But when you think about R40 and, and, and the concept of the band is 40 years, are, are you the kind of guy that spends much time reflecting on that part of your life? Um, only in a, in a cheerful way lately, like uh, proud to have done all that, you know, that Frank's not to think I did all that. <laughs> um, and, and I was just visiting the ruins of Le Studio in Quebec where we recorded from 79 um, so much of our most important work in the 80s mm -hmm. um, yeah, as, as permanent ways, moving pictures, signals, grace under pressure, a pretty important body of work for us all down there and now it lays in ruins. And I did a little tour around it recently, but I just felt lucky and grateful to have had all that. Yeah, on the one side it's sad that it's gone, mm -hmm. and it's especially sad to me that a no rock band will ever enjoy that retreat, right? What, what it meant artistically and personally together to work in the studio all day and then go play volleyball at night, you know, under the lights. Those kind of experiences were so formative um, artistically and as a, as a collaborative unit. So that part was sad, but on the other hand, when I look back now, um, I'm most proud of, of most recent work. And uh, Clockwork Angels to me is a, is a lovely plateau to be on right now. And Snakes and Arrows before it I like, and, and pretty much in decreasing favor. Yeah. As it should be, right. because I really do think that we got better and I got better, and naturally I like our more recent work better. Now, one last thing before I let you go. Uh, people are probably wondering where in the heck are episodes uh, two and three and, and whatever's coming. Um, I want to let you know that all of the pr principal footage has been shot, me hosting, standing in front of the camera. Uh, all of the, the uh, material to build the actual episodes from with me hosting is already complete and in the can. It's a matter of now editing. Editing, 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 it's got to be all put together and the next uh, episodes are going to be assembled. Um, here we're coming, at least in Canada, we're coming into sort of the, the fall and the cold of the, the winter approaching and it's when I'm going to hunker down. I stopped doing a lot of outdoorsy stuff, more inside, more here in this room and more in my, my new little video editing suite and um, putting that stuff together. So I will do so. Um, probably by Christmas you'll see episode two and then probably not too long after that, two or three months before the winter breaks and we're heading into spring, episode three will be done completing the series. Both are are uh, laid out, like I say, already. So I know what's going to be in them. It's just a matter of getting them all together so you guys can finally see them. So that's it. That's the update. Neil Peart made it to the studio and um, it was a nice glimpse to see, to see one of the actual uh, Rush members there on uh, holy soil. <laughs> That's it. This is Kevin signing off La Studio Channel here from my uh, own little La Studio here in my basement. Cheers.